him and I'm at it again The crystal arrow calling my name Down a gravel road, box full of fur And a mystery in the next deal were Catching the first made me a believer What a day, guys. What a season. We are finally getting back at it. Uh, got a little late start this morning. My back's been killing me last night. I tweaked it flushing probably about 11.30 last night. Had to call it quits a little early, but. Pulling up on uh, our second location. Our first one was blank, but hopefully got good luck on this one. Uh, the snow and rain is gonna be here in about five hours. You know, nothing down below, but I see a coon up there in the top box. That's a good deal. Good deal. See if I can't get over there and show you. This bank is I thawed out a lot, actually. That's a lot better. It was glare ice. And actually, when I was setting this, I was walking on ice right here. This was all ice. But bait's still in there too. A lot of tracks coming up this still not a very big one but i'll take it just coming down these trails through here never did get a 220 set on it like i wanted but and the bait's still there so glad to be getting one uh it's always bittersweet pulling this line uh see our 220 set up there we've taken a bobcat and probably 10 or 12 coon off this i'd say throughout the season uh just that fence line coming down to a mature fence line with corn great spot i think it'll be even better next year because most of the hardwoods is over here crossing over to corn on this side um well we do have corn over here i guess too so probably wouldn't matter be about the same but just uh i don't like i said very nostalgic person and knowing i won't come down these roads probably until late september next year when i'm starting gearing up and looking for stuff uh just i don't know I'm not I'm that person. I'm that kind of weird sentimental person. All these spots have some kind of memory to them or like this year that bobcat was awesome. Uh and I'll never forget that. So but time to get these out of here. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh this is where that old couch was sitting down here. Looks like they kind of came through and cleaned up the ditches, but we got a coon down here, so I wonder if that was here uh this morning. If they did that this morning or last night. Uh, but if they did that this morning, they would have had to deal with the coon sitting here. But anyway, we'll get him taken care of and get out of here. Uh, didn't really do well here early season. Um, I was kind of shocked. We just didn't. But we got him today. Our dog proofs are not disappointing. Uh, that's another nice one on the trail from November. Uh, we actually caught, we caught a coon in this 220. Uh, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. So, got set off somehow, but anyway, we're pulling them. It's just that time. Oh, we had us a pheasant. He took off on us. Good to see you, All though. right. We got a 220 that's tripped off here. Oh, uh, that's a really steep angle. Hard to really make out and show you guys how steep this is. Uh, it's almost too steep because they want to go over the top of it. What I want to show you is we've got all kinds of tracks in the mud here and you can see mud on top of the jaws of my 220 here. They set it off and have been climbing up and over it since. Uh, is what it is, you know. Um, I need to find a way to do better at these steep angles. Uh, definitely something to improve on for next year. But this trap's been set off quite a few times. I think this top one's only made one or two catches. Now uh, we had one down here which is blown out now because I've made several catches. But we had probably caught three or four down here versus this top one was on such an angle. They just went, they'd go over the top of it. But that's your sign right there that they're going right over the top of this thing since it got set off. It's probably how it got set off to begin with. <laughs> this is awesome. This is that old, old cattle lot up here I talked about. Um, actually, where my boss used to live. 
we got a coon down on the bottom and I couldn't help but when I was up here I saw something flopping bear with me guys because we got a little travel here but that's pretty awesome uh, we haven't done it this year yet until today but well we caught one here yesterday we have a skunk real nice pretty big skunk and then a little smaller one so we got a double on skunks with a coon about 30 yards away that's awesome <laughs> great day guys yes <laughs> we are stacking them up today this is awesome Ooh, he might give me a chest dispatch shot would be great so gonna get him taken care of get moving we gotta beat that rain fellas little rub on his back here uh, but nothing terrible um, pretty good sized coon really overall the backside he's not too torn up at all um, decent little coon here you know he's starting to get a little there's a little knot right there too I guess but not bad uh, hopefully we can just hit that 1083 and call it um, you know my my markets are pretty well dried up I'll be finishing up the last one next week so uh, after that, all I'm left with is just the fur, and the fur is starting to deteriorate pretty good. So we're going to get him taken care of and uh, get out of here. Well, good. A possum double. <laughs> That's better than empty traps, guys. Uh, glad to be catching something. So first pair of possums of the day. There's that sound. There we go. <laughs> oh, man, guys, this is going to be a good day. This is gonna be a really good day. Just we've trapped here four. We got two little culverts here, about 100 yards apart. Two draws coming across the road to more timber. Uh, I left these set knowing it'd be a good late season location, and it's definitely paying off. Well, we got us another possum double. That's four out of six boxes now. We've got four possums, so at least this one down here looks to be a pretty good sized one. Uh, somebody threw some hay down here. I wasn't here a couple days ago. Yeah, that's a big possum. That's the granddaddy possum there. Must be because it got wet. Yeah. Huh, interesting. Uh, why couldn't he have got caught in the top trap? Oh my, that is a muddy, muddy mess. All right, anything but a possum. Anything but a possum. Anything but a possum. Bet you it's a possum. Hey, hey, coon double. Score, finally. So I like to see. Uh, this is the spot I missed all early season. I should have been here, but I was not. So, uh, great little spot. Nice. And what does uh, the next door hold? Nothing. We're going to pull these because that rain coming, sitting on the side, this culvert will probably flood out. So, get them pulled and get out of here. Man, am I glad I set this spot. Uh, this spot we set in November, there wasn't even a trail coming over the top. Uh, everything here was going down and through the tube um, and you can still see the mud tracks on the ice down there where most of them are uh, but we got lucky and got this one up top so get him taken care of get moving guys we are filling up the truck might be a lot of possums too but we're filling her up man good day it's a real good day um, he definitely sprayed a little bit and he's got kind of like yellowish tint to him but he's not terrible uh, still happy picking another skunk lone tree with corn behind it or corn behind me guys uh kind of a little waterway here crossing over to corn on the other side uh, we didn't really do great here early but glad we left this set and i'm glad i reset it that's awesome so glad to be back out here guys even if it is winding down uh this gonna be my last day of really running a decent line um, other than that i'm just gonna be running a few boxes before work 
or maybe I'll throw something small together next week, but I gotta start finishing fur. Um, pretty much all out of freezer space. Uh, you know, we worked on it pretty hard last week and got a lot done, but we're filling it right back up. So time to get time to get to the finishing mode. Oh, here's our awesome high bank trail winding down through. Nothing today in it. Uh, this is where that we got that rain shower. I didn't even remake that trap. That was just a muddy mess. But down here in the creek itself. Oh, that hurt. Oh, can't fit through there sideways. We got one down in the water. This makes me a water trapper, right, guys? <laughs> but. You know, he's definitely turning a little yellow. You can see it on his backside, uh, but not really rubbed out too bad. He's got that kind of wiry a little bit on the neck, but nothing terrible. Uh, we'll get him taken care of and get out of here. Uh, that's where I met my biggest competition I've ever had. I met under this bridge. Um, kind of funny how that worked. Real good guy. We, you know, we talked and shared ideas and stuff. Um, pretty, pretty awesome dude, but he has since retired and moved on to ice fishing. I think he's probably a little smarter than I am, but anyway, we'll get him taken care of and get out of here. <laughs> corn to corn location, culvert underneath. This is where I showed you that, uh, how you could find these culverts with a light snow by where the snow would accumulate and not melt off the roads. Uh, not the biggest guy, but doesn't seem to be rubbed out at all. So happy to be throwing him back the truck. We are stacking them guys. This is an awesome day. Finally, a big dry fluffy one. Uh, used to snare some cats and coyotes on this trail. Long fence line. Long fence line. Corn on both sides this year. So uh, there's like 10 trails here. Um, unfortunately, they just put a house down there in the bottom. Uh, so that eliminates all my 220 and snare action. So we settled for what we had to. Threw a dog proof in here. So. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's getting windy and it's getting chilly. These boxes are really hitting the possums. Well, it seems like the dog proofs are really hitting the coon still. Man, what a trail. I mean, it's just phenomenal. Going through and I'm taking a lot of coon off this. He's in real good shape, real dark coon. Happy to have him. Big boy. Well, well, well. <laughs> I bet you guys remember this spot. Remember that old cedar that's all raggedy and torn to crap coming off the fence line? We caught a lot of coon off this. Well, I had two more to it. What a day, guys. This is getting to be awesome. Great day. Uh, really hustling. It's gonna start downpouring here in about an hour and a half, and we still got quite a ways to go. So try to get home, get everything in the shop, keep it dry uh, while pulling what we can. So. Get them taken care of and get moving. Well, here we got another one. This is four traps and four coon, guys. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and he's not rubbed out. He's not real wiry yet. He's got a really, really nice coat on him. Uh, looking good. Tell you what, I'm loving these white claws. They're producing this late season. Bingo. Nice coon. Not the biggest, but 220 and a boar. So I still got the skull and pecker market for him. Good deal. I love how I can look at the mud all over and just tell we got a fresh catch. Now I heard that chain rattle just now. It's cornfield, culvert. Pretty good den trees right here too. So whether they're actually den in there or not, it's a good marker for them. Uh, good, good landmark. And here we got us a nice coon. Let's get him out of here and keep moving. There's no shortage of raccoons here. Uh, we've caught several at this spot going to corn. I'm um, just coming from a cattle lot with a silo behind me uh, definitely a good spot he does have a pretty good rub on his back um if you'll let me see it there about halfway down uh, yeah you can kind of see it there 
pretty rubbed out but anyway i know this farmer here he wants them out of here so we're gonna go ahead and take him out of here and i'll uh see what i can do boy we even got the real little ones coming out to play in this warm weather uh he's not worth taking by any means so we're gonna let him go and uh get these traps pulled out of this water before it freezes up so definitely something this water stuff is uh yeah after this rain it's gonna get cold and it's gonna get icy and this stuff will be under probably about six inches of ice if i don't get it now so we're hustling but moving slow at the same time my back is just on fire today so get him released get out of here boy i'll tell you what there's the title of possum king i think i'm doing it it's a big possum though real big possum fish is still in there that's a big boy well y'all remember this spot very very productive for me over this over the course of time especially this year uh this very well can be the very last raccoon i catch this year in the dog proof um everything's either pulled or set off um in other parts that i never got back to late season but running a few boxes now to hopefully get to to break my record but uh dog proofs are pretty much going to be obsolete i think going forward with the, the ice and freeze up that we're coming so gonna run a handful of boxes but this is the last one of the day too which is good i'm i need to get home <laughs> i'm hurting pretty good but we had a good day guys a really good day i'm not sure what's in there maybe 35 i don't think we hit 40 but it was, it was pretty good so um, get him taken care of and get out of here well that was nice the county guy driving away uh he said our, well he said my last name are you a so-and-so yeah that's me he goes so i got one of your traps from where they're working up here with the they're cleaning out the ditches um that was really nice of him to actually keep it not just tear into it but uh pretty good guy he's got some beaver issues so i gave him my phone number and hopefully we're gonna uh i'll be doing some beaver trapping on him this year you never know when your next opportunity is gonna come but get him taken care of and we'll we'll try getting out of here one more time all right guys uh the rain's starting to come now more of a freezing rain so i threw him on the tailgate we ended up with 37 uh that puts me at 1060 even yes 1060 even so can't gossip too much we're gonna get these si things inside get the truck unloaded uh they're talking a lot of rain probably about an inch of rain over the next few hours so we're moving guys uh, only boxes left um pretty much pulled everything else go back to work tomorrow um it's a good day i'm real happy with that but we gotta move guys thanks